We have tracked them down from Sporting Kansas City top-notch player, top-notch human being, defender Kevin Ellis. Kevin, welcome to Red Card, my friend. How are you? Thanks for having me. Pleasure's all mine. Kevin, as I said to our listeners out there, I've had hundreds of players on from MLS, all sorts of coaches in the last six years here on our show. But this one to me is a special, special segment. And why is that? It's simply because you're a special guy for what you did to this two-year-old, a young girl who's battling cancer, and her name, Kit Van Sickle. I mean, I'm a parent of two boys, uh, uh, Kevin, and I, I broke down in tears with my wife watching the video and you explaining to everyone why you wanted to have this connection and why you got involved. And it's unbelievably great that you did. Tell us a little bit about it. I know that we've seen it and heard the video, but you know, tell us going back how this connection was made. Yeah, well, <clears throat> we met um, at, a, at a calendar photo shoot that we do every year. And uh, we just, you know, were, you know, randomly paired up and, you know, at first she was a little standoffish to me, you know, and you could tell she was shy and she was really attached to her mom. And then she broke out of her shell. And once she broke her out of her shell, she was, you know, honestly, you know, I come across a lot of kids and, and doing what, what I do. You know, she, to me, she was special to me right away. Um, her attitude, you know, she was so positive And for a little girl that's going through so much, uh, you know, it was just amazing to see, and it, it it really put, you know, everything into perspective for me. And you know that this amazing little girl could be gone through so much, but she just wants to have a good time and she wants to enjoy every day that she has. You, you know, Kevin, uh, May 29th is a special day for you as a defender scoring that goal, but it's a special day for a lot of people uh in uh, in that young girl's life and her parents uh, talked about it and uh, hashtag go kid go you lifted up your jersey after scoring that goal and uh, it was unbelievable to see that you, you dedicated that goal to her and i'm sure you thought about this instantly after you met her as you said in the video there and you wanted to do something after you got that goal and you did talk about it yeah i mean it, at, at that point I mean, you know, you know, the guy that scores a goal in a game, you know, whether it's the first goal or the fourth goal or whatever, you know, all eyes go to him on the on the field. And, you know, I I wanted to, to turn those eyes to to, you know, this little girl that, that is just, you know, fighting for everything and you know, it it that that moment really humbled me as a person. You know, to to be blessed with all the things that I can do, um, and, and you know, and just just to give that moment to her, you know, it, it wasn't about me at all, and I didn't want it to be about me at all. And like you said, I, I, you know, after that, I was talking to my wife, and I was saying, you know, I hope I can just score a goal because I'm going to be wearing this shirt every game, you know, no matter what, I'm going to wear this shirt, and hopefully one time I'll, I'll be able to lift it up and show everybody the message. You know, I knew this interview would be hard for me because uh, just listening to you, I'm getting choked up here and I got goosebumps and it's, uh, it, it's so important what you did and, and you said it bang on, Kevin, in, in the big scheme of things in life, we're so grateful and, and, and thankful that we have our health and that you can play the game that you love so much and make a living at it. I do what I can for a living, but this young girl in her battle, uh, we all need to rally around her and all the other kids around the world that are struggling with issues like this because in the big scheme of things, Kevin, wins, losses, trophies, championship, yeah, that's all great, but these are the type of things that we need to bring to light. Just like I might add, Kevin, I don't know if you saw it, Kai Kamara as well doing some great work back in his home country, helping school kids out as well. I think that's awesome. Yeah, I mean, I know Kai, you know, and he, he, you know, he played in Kansas City and, you know, I was good friends with him while I was here. And, you know, I've seen the things that he's been doing. And, and you know, he'll, he'll say, like, you know, like I'll say, you know, to give back to to kids and, and you know, to any anybody. You know, it, it really makes, you know, what we do, you know, worthwhile. If we can help somebody else in doing what we do, you know, it, it, it means
means everything to us. You know, Kevin, we had on just a little while ago Steve Brizentine, who is a friend of our show. He's been on a number of years, and he covers your team inside out down there in Kansas City. He didn't know about this story at all until it was published. And he said, Anthony, this is what Sporting Kansas City uh, these players are all about. They do a lot of these things that we don't know about. We find out eventually, uh, you know, they'll make visits to kids. They'll help out in any way they can. And I think, Kevin, this is what's great about MLS. You and I both know that MLS players don't make a lot of money like they do in Europe or in South America, but they give back so much. And I think this is key. That I think this is so important for this league to continue to grow. It's stories like yours and Kai's and others that are so important to tell. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's, you know, you 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 hit the nail on the head there. You know, we we don't we don't make millions and millions of dollars, and you know, and we're we're very closely connected to you know our fans. You know, we eat at the same restaurants and all that. You know what I mean? We do all the things that everybody else does, and you know, we we interact with them. You know, on a daily basis, and you know, I think that's the great thing about MLS is. You know, our fans are so close to us, and, and we can interact with them, you know, at any time and any place, uh, and, and that's really amazing. Kevin, just before we let you go, let's talk about the, the small things, the little things in life. A game coming up against Orlando City, it looks like Kaká will be out with an injury. That uh, will be unfortunate for uh, uh, the fans of Orlando and you going up against him as well. But let's talk about how important these points are for you guys. You know that uh, Portland's knocking on the door and nipping at your heels. We know that San Jose and Seattle play a big game. And you guys coming over from the Eastern to Western Conference this year, not one single game can you guys take off. Talk about this matchup against the expansion squad, Orlando. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a big match for us. You know, we're looking at it. As you know, it's it's a it's a must win for us. We 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 want to get three points. You know, whether we're home or away, um, you know, and and we're we're all excited for it. You know, it's always exciting when you play a team that you've never played before. Um, and you know, like I said, you know, the Western Co- like you said, the Western Conference is is that tight. And you know, we still have games and hands on teams, um, but that that doesn't mean anything unless we get we get points. Um, so, so we're we're really looking forward to this game, and, and and we're taking this as, you know, the most important game in our season right now. Kevin, just before we let you go, just a couple other quick things. You know, a lot of people give a lot of credit, to, as I do, and others to two guys who are great head coaches in your league. Bruce Arena with the LA Galaxy, of course. Dominic Kinnear with San Jose, really turning things around there. But I don't think enough credit is given to your head coach, Peter Vermees. And I'll say this, I've said this on the record to a lot of guys at ESPN and other places, that if Jurgen Klinsmann uh, gets the axe sooner than later for Team USA, I would not hesitate one second to pick up the phone and give Peter Vermees the call. It would be Kansas City's loss, but a massive game uh, for USA soccer. Talk about head coach Peter Vermees. From what I understand, he's a real players coach. Yeah, he is. You know, I mean, he, he, he you know, he's close with a lot of guys on the team. And, you know, he's, he's a guy that you can talk to at any moment, you know, whether things are going, you know, well for you or things are going bad, you know, his door is always open. Um, you know, and, and he, he always makes sure every guy is is prepared is prepared to play i think that's that's the biggest thing him and his coaching staff you know or our coaching staff does a tremendous job of of making sure no matter who you are what position you play you know you're up to speed because you never know when your when your number could be called and, and you know you, it, that that's been proven over these past few years that anybody can come in and there's no uh, there's no let off when, when guys move in and out of the lineup. Kevin, as we let you go, who do you want to thank to help get where you're at in your career and your life right now? Living the dream that a lot of young uh, boys, the young men would love to live uh, playing the game that you love so much, traveling all over North America, eating in some of the fine restaurants, staying in some of the fine hotels. Is there a parent that has helped you along the way, a coach that, you, uh, that believed in you, a sibling? Who helped? Uh, you know, Kevin Ellis get to where he is today. Yeah, I mean, I could I could go through the list. You know, first off, I you know I want to thank God for everything He's given me. You know, my 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 twin brother um, sacrificed a lot for me. My my mom and 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 dad, you know, for everything that they've done for me. And 
<clears throat> and now, you know, you know, you say a coach, um, you know, there's one guy that really, really sticks out to me, and, and that's Paul Rideout. And you probably know him. You know, he's a, he's a legend, in, you know, at Everton. Yep. Um, he, he, was my, he was my club coach um, in the academy here. And, you know, he really, he, you know, really did a lot. A lot, I can't put it into words, what he did to prepare me to, to take the next step and be a professional. Um, you know, and now I have, you know, I'm married. You know, my wife is, is my biggest fan. And, you know, I, I, there 100% wouldn't be where I'm at right now without her. Kevin, I can't thank you enough for taking time out of your busy schedule to join us. I can't thank you enough for being a top-class human being. May God bless you with health and happiness and success. But more importantly, I'll say this to you, and I've said it to only a few other players that I've talked to worldwide. We need more people like you in the game. Not for the great goals, not for the victories in the championships, for stories and giving back from your heart like you did with this two-year-old. God bless you again. Thank you so much. Good luck the rest of the way. And we really appreciate you taking time again, Kevin. Thank you so much. It means a lot. Kevin Ellis, defender of Sporting Kansas City.